Hello, Bumpy Mix Quiggums here, and apparently more UFOs are being detected. This is quite the wave. And where is this one at? Oh, it's right there. UFO 72, okay. Well, that's basically on top of the other UFO. Let's send this guy back to base, and then we'll, we'll group up and we'll do an attack against those fellows. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. I'm going to wait it out because I think we just launched those guys, so I want to go slow here. I don't want to miss out on anything. There we go. I made it right back into base. And we are going to send them out. And hopefully we'll tail till they're over land. There's yet another UFO. Where's this one at? Oh, it's right there. But we should be able to take that out. Um, cancel that. Tailed over to land. Um, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot with the air-to-air uh, -air combat and see what actually happens. It looks like what do we have, one, two, and three now. That's not how it works. Hmm. I really should figure out the. I think it's F1, F2, and F3. Yeah. I say I should figure out the hotkeys. It might make my life a little easier. All right. Um. Man, at this point, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna try this route. This is gonna be my plan. We'll see what actually happens here. And. Ooh, it's working. Okay, good. Now, I don't want them to actually fire anything. I want them to save their torpedoes for the, uh, basically the big Balboski. And you, sir, use your afterburner. And you can go this way. Well, you, I guess I'm going to circle you that way. This is, oops, this is going to look a little weird, and it's probably not going to work, because I'm not very good at this. So please keep that in mind. And... Do a barrel roll. Alright, so that worked out. Need you to hightail it, my friend. You need to get moving. You are pretty much out of space. You've dodged that, which is excellent. Should be able to shoot that down. Sweet. Alright, now turn on that. You go over here. We can do this. We have the technology. Uh-oh. Do we really have the technology, though? I am questioning the technology at this point. Really, really am. Alright, well, let's get these tor torpedoes, get the torpedoes up and running. And try to avoid certain death and demise and destruction and things of that nature. Hmm. We are having a hard time with this, aren't we? That's going to hurt if that hits. So we're going to have to try to hope that we can avoid that. How much damage do we do? Still got 71 health left. Alright, we need to get you over here. And you should be able to... Oh, -ho! with the skills that kills. What? You are going way too slow, buddy. You have no... You have no... Uh, nothing left. All right, you need to get moving. Okay, so we're going to attempt some cross homogenation here. It is interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm doing terrible, but eh, I don't know. Maybe not ridiculously terrible. That's not good. Um, roll, good sir. Not into him. Oh gosh. Okay. And I don't know what's happening right now. I think a lot of this is bad. But I did it, and I didn't lose anything. Oh, well that was scary. Okay, so that happened. And we shot something down directly next to our base, which is fantastic, I must admit. 
Uh, let's just double check, make sure we have a full contingent complement. I don't know. A whole bunch of people in our group we do. We're ready to launch on that. Let's go to the crash site and intercept that with uh, the bump pod. Launch. They're going to go back to base. And we can engage immediately, but we're in a night mission. I'm still going to engage, guys. These are the stronger of my people. These are my uh, my A team, basically. So let's uh, roll with them. That was a. Uh... I don't know, man. The air combat. Mm. Not the greatest thing. Not for me, anyway. I'm not. I'm not that great at it. But hey, I did it. Managed not to lose anyone. Eh. I don't know, man. Clicking that auto resolve button seems a little easier. And I forgot to change the outlook or outload or loadout. Loadout. That's the word I'm looking for. The loadout of my squad, unfortunately. All right, let's take a look around. Do a little bit of coughing right there. Yeah, that's impressive. I know. I know. All right, let's see. Pete Holmes. What is over this way, my friend? Absolutely nothing worthy of... Oh, really? Worthy of note. All right, well... Nope. That way-ish. That's fine. All right. Can we take a shot? We can. 95% chance. Boom. Down it goes. And that was pretty darn good. I'll take it. Alright. So we're prepped to survive as a rifleman. Alright. And we will move forward. And I guess we'll go this way. Aha! Ooh. He shot out the car. He's like, no. I don't like that Lincoln. Duh. I guess it's a Lincoln. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. It's probably a Lincoln. Maybe an old, uh, an old Civic? No. That looks more like an old Civic. <laughs> Maybe an old Corolla. I, I don't know. I don't know what it would be. I just, I just simply don't know. Alright, so if we go here, we can kneel and burst fire. What? We're probably going to miss, so, I mean, eh, 26% chance. Maybe, yes, yeah, so maybe one would actually hit, and it did. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to get behind him, or her, or whatever, and we're going to take a 94% shot. And down it goes. Well, that's two now. Two down, I like it. All right, I'm going to go over this way. And I am going to switch to, nope, switch to my flare. And lob it. Boink. And flares. Uh, take a knee, take a knee, and the atomic potato. What to do with you? What to do with you? Eh, we'll throw you behind, why not? You're set up for victory. Alright, I think with that we can end our first turn here. There's definitely some gunfire and some painful sounding things. And that was really about it. It doesn't seem like there's that much out and about to kill us because we already took down two. Because, you know, we're, we're obviously amazing. How can I see that far? It seems a little silly. And being a night mission and all, and somehow I can see ridiculously far all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, you see how far she just threw that? That was ridiculous. Which is the word of the day, but ooh, that's a dead cop. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Excuse me, we only have 26 to use instead of the 27 that we vitally need. Alright, well, that's fine. I suppose that's fine. Alright, we'll go here. Tana will lava flare down this way. And it looks like there's nothing there. Aha! We aha, there's the alien. I'm like, oh, we see something somewhere, though I'm not entirely certain where. Let's see what this does. Oh, don't have the the TU abilities to take it down, so we're just gonna go hide here, I guess. And mm, I suppose I could throw a flare if I really had to. My people seem to have much better night vision than they did before. It's a little concerning, but you know, hey, maybe they've been eating carrots. I don't know. Carrots, it's a vision thing, right? Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, Scooney, you turn singleton. Welcome to the party. Let's see if we can get you some, some higher TUs, because you are definitely lacking in that front. Pete Holmes, you are not 
super far behind on TUs, but you are a heavy, so you're kind of worthless unless you're already in position. It's just a sad reality. It really is. Alright, we're going to go over here. We're going to take a look this way. Take a knee. I suppose I can go back up over here with Nicole Hernandez. And we'll come down here with Prep to Survive. And I guess the Atomic Potato can take a look around the corner. Maybe crouch by this car. Eh, eh. Crouching by vehicles with rockets. It's always a recipe for amazing. <clears throat> Alright, so let's end our turn. I'm sorry guys, my... <clears throat> I could be coughing a lot right now. And I am parched. I do not have a beverage with me. All of a sudden, I want to talk like Bane. Batman. Sorry. Sorry. Too much Pete Holmes lately, guys. Can't help it. I, if that is a thing. I don't I don't necessarily know if there is too much of a Pete Holmes. Like, like that's a possibility. Because I, I don't think you can have too much of a good thing. Well, I suppose you could overeat. Like, say you really, really like cheesecake, which I do. Of the cakes, that would probably be my favorite. So, I imagine if I ate, like, a whole cheesecake or two, I would probably have too much of a good thing. And I might actually end up dying a horrible death. Because, well, cheesecake is ridiculously bad for you. Even if it tastes ridiculously good. Alright, we're going to try what we did last time without the suck. Hey, it worked! Good job, buddy. Well done. Oh, look, there's another guy way over there that we're going to abuse our really good shot with our sniper with. Boom! Really? Not enough to take him out, huh? Well, I didn't see that coming. Hmm. Do I dare? I dare. I totally dare. Alright, I'm going to show you that I am not a goat. I am a man. Boom! What? That's right. I stepped up, and it seems that Bumpy has game. And uh, apparently, a better than. Better chance than not at actually hitting something. Say better than average chance. Eh, I suppose that would work. Alright, Redith. Continue onward. And. Ooh, there's a hole in the window here. Which leads me to believe there may be something inside this building. Could be a Nightwalker. But probably not. Probably not a Nightwalker. But yeah, yeah, it's possible. I mean, there is the possibility that vampires are also here, not just aliens. So, just saying, this thing could be a whole lot worse. I mean, the zombies, vampires, werewolves, all those things can be coming after us. It doesn't have to just be aliens. Right now we have, like, cyborg robot, uh, swamp thing, ninja alien robots. Sure. I don't know. I kind of lost it around uh, Ninja. Anyhow, that's going to pretty much do it for that turn. Oh no! Good job, Rita. Oh. Okay, so... Rita, not super happy right now. Crazy, ugly alien dude? Gonna die! Oh, really? Oh, she got suppressed. That's not good. That's not good. Um, what kind of shot can we get with him? Hmm. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's that's about what I thought was going to happen. All right. Well, we're going to give this a shot. And really, really hope he lands right where he's supposed to. Boom! What? So that could have gone a lot worse for our uh, <coughs> commander-in-chief, or our colonel-in-chief, as it were. That could have been really, really not good. But instead, it turned out to be feasibly okay. Relatively decent. Not too bad. Alright. Speaking of which, goodbye. And... Are we ready to breach at this point? I don't know. Seems unlikely, but man, it's possible. And we have done some pretty good work. And as you see, I'm totally advancing with extreme caution, knowing that at any moment I could die. Not. <clears throat> man, my throat's bothering me. It's always bothering me. I don't know. I don't know. Food's bad, guys, I'm telling you. Food is bad. 
for me in general. But it's okay. It's okay because I'm still here. I'm still saving the planet one alien crash site at a time. And things are going okay, I suppose. Alright, um, pff, I don't know. That sounded not great. Gunfire, maybe? Huh? Wreath gonna stride in here and see what's going on, I guess. It does seem a little laggier than it used to. I don't know. That's kind of odd. Well, we did manage to, uh, not get Wreath killed, so that's a good sign. And prep to survive, you gave it your best shot, man. I'm, I'm proud of you, but it wasn't enough. You, you gotta step up your game. I expect more out of you next time. Just saying. I expect a lot out of my rookies. That's why you're part of the A-Team. And I'm not talking about movie or old show references either. You're literally the first team we call. Well, veteran team, I suppose, is a better way of putting it. Alright, where's our shield person? You. Come forward. Let's take a peek, shall we? Oh, it's one of these. Fantastic. I don't really like these ships, but... Try to set off just slightly. Take a look that way. Take a knee. You went up one too far, which is still fine. Yeah. You get to take a knee, and you know what? I don't want you taking a knee. I want you guys to actually have full T's. I'm going to risk the fact that maybe they're not going to come out, which I realize isn't a fact. I, I, I realize that. But I'm going to hope that they don't come out and we're able to just flat out own them. We'll see. Knock, knock. Really? Really? Aha! So that seems really unlikely that there's no one in here at all. And he can't move. Of course he can't. Oh, that's not good. Alright, well... That did less than I expected. Actually, far less than I expected. Alright, well, let's try this. And... Ah, that one actually worked. Woot! Alright, we'll take a look that way. We'll go over here and be a human shield or something. And hope all this pans out because I think something bad's about to happen. <clears throat> miscalculations all around. It's okay. It's okay. I I plan to miscalculate if that makes any sense. It doesn't. It really doesn't. But it's okay. Alright. Um, run, 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 run. Take a peek. Nothing. Yes. Maybe. No. I'm not sure. It's fine. Um, just have the atomic potato over here. Take a peek this way. Nothing. Nothing. A little bit left to cover on the outside, and probably only one or two aliens left anyway. Even, even without the one or two alien coverage thingy that I was referring to just moments before. All right, so I'm gonna head here. Take uh, facing this way. Take a knee. We're going to end our turn, and... Aha! You missed. What? Uh-oh. You missed, too. <laughs> Alright, well... Pete Holmes, enjoy. Because I certainly did. Alright, who do we got? Scooney, you turn singleton. Eh. Let's get you behind. Oh, nah. Let's get you to move over here. We'll let you take a shot. Why not? One, totally missed. Two, totally missed. That's about right. Go right up here and wow. And that's it. Okay, so that was uh, far easier than I was anticipating, actually. I thought there was at least one or two more in the back room, but I guess he came out to play and, well, he didn't do so well. Uh, injuries that were already there. Uh, Redith got scratched. I mean, meh. Uh, Atomic Potato, you are now a lieutenant, and prep to survive, you're a corporal with some pretty decent stat gains as well. So overall, successful mission, 
70 thou made. All right, and I need to do stuff. I want to deal with that one. What can I send at it? Hmm. Okay, so Jelly actually got hurt pretty bad. I didn't realize that. I don't remember my other vehicles or my other aircraft getting hurt at all. Hmm. Bad memory, I guess. So we're just going to have to go with it. Alright, we're going to try to take this one down as well. Like I said, I'm going to try to do more air combat if I can. We have Sean and Peanut Butter. Um, I think they're the same speed, so if I can get a flanking maneuver with this guy, it should be okay. Alright, let's get closer and see if we can actually fire our torpedoes at them. And then turn away before said torpedoes finish hitting. And then hopefully get some scraping action done. And let's roll out of the way of that if we can. A little minor damage. That wasn't so bad. Wait for the bump pod to... Oh, we have another vi or another victory. We have another victory in, at our doorstep. No, we have another air-to-air uh, -air combat to deal with. Oh, this should be sweet, sweet, nice. Alright, so what are we going to launch here? Ooh. Really? I don't have any... Um, okay, no torpedoes. So let's kind of charge them down with this guy. And then just, uh, this seems like a really, really bad idea, I'm just saying. Who do we have? We have this guy. Let's see if he rolls the right way. Doesn't seem like he wants to. Shouldn't he be rolling by this point? He's still not rolling. Why is he not rolling? Roll, buddy! Roll! Oh my goodness. And some, how did, how, what? Mm. Well, that didn't go well. But I kind of knew it wasn't going to go well. Alright, so that's done. We're going to go here real quick. We go to the dropship. Ooh, the other one's being built. It's almost done, which is cool. Uh, we're going to put this guy here and you back here. Get our formation back the way it belongs. That's very nice. <clears throat> yeah, that didn't go so well for me. I, I don't know. I should have split my forces a lot better than I did, obviously. But I did not do so. I did not do so. Alright, we're going to send both of these fellows out to their locations. And I believe at this point I am also going to have issues here. I don't understand why I cannot change the load out of these guys. There's something just not quite right with these things. Alright, let's take a look again. Can I change them? No. What about this one? Ah, I can change this one. Alright. Hmm. Alright, well, what I'm going to do then is attempt to intercept it anyway. So we will see what happens. I'm going to tail the target just a little bit longer. And I'm going to have Engage the Tailed UFO. And I want them to be in Southern Africa. And hope this goes better than the last little bit I just did. We'll see. We will see. We're going to engage once again. Alright, so we have the scout. The missiles should be fine. I'm going to have Hound just, I guess, fly at the guy? Okay. And a fox try to line up a better shot. We'll see though. Wow, that went super well. Sorry guys, I got all quiet. I was all focused and stuff. My my eyebrow was all raised and started twitching in junk. It was crazy. Absolute insanity. Alright, well, 
I'm going to break off the episode here, guys. I'm about to embark on multiple landed mission craft attack type stuff. I, I got nothing. And, well, I don't want to get into a long mission, presumably long mission, uh, at the very end of my time. So I'm going to keep this one short. There was a lot of air combat. One or two I did pretty well, I think. Um, one I did really terrible at, so there is that. That has happened, but, yeah. Practice makes perfect, as they say. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Either way, I will catch you guys next time. Till then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.